Alrighty traders, time for a look at the week ahead here. We're currently just closing out Monday. Got a couple of days left before we're done for the year. I've got a couple of big picture trade setups on the balance beam to show you. But before we jump over to that, let's take a look at what we did last week in the live room. For these three mornings, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, we did five and a half hours. We did pretty well on Tuesday and Wednesday and basically flat on Thursday there. This was $1,154 after commission at a 52% win rate. And everything there was driven by what we saw on the DSR models. So literally trade what we see. The five main signals that we looked at in training and in the live room generated those types of profits. That's running at $185 an hour clip there, which is up from 177 the week prior. And both of the last two weeks up a bit over the last two months where we were sitting at about 110 as an average per hour in the live room. So some pretty good performance there for the very short period of time. For big picture trade setups, nothing was broadcast last week, but I do have three things on my radar for this week. Oil had a big sell-off to some new structure lows here, dipping into the 34s. It's had a very strong bounce off of that level. So where we are right now, 3625s, if we continue to rally up here, we'll look to get long at 3720s with these upside targets here. If we rally over 3711s and break back below, we'll look to get short at 3684s with these targets below. If we don't trade any higher than where we are right now, we'll look to go short at 3589s, going to 3540 and 35 even for the two downside targets off of that trade setup. For the initial stop loss of 30 ticks here, we'll go plus five for every 10 ticks in favor. And that's a look at the oil setup. For gold, some pretty ugly price action here, breaking just a little bit lower than where it is. We'll look to get short just below 1,062 here at 1,061.80 and 56.50s and 41s to the downside. And it needs to trade up a bit higher before we can even think about getting long here. So 72.30s to these upside targets here. Trail your initial stop loss of six by one for every $1 in favor. That's gold. Let's finish off here with the S&P. We'll look to get long here at 2,008.50. We might see this hit here into the afternoon on Monday and into Globex. 1850s, we'll look to get long at 20, 25 quarter for a second stage long there. In that case, we'll look to go up to 39.75 and then 58.50. You'll notice that there's these arrows here signifying that the initial long and then a second stage long there with that second entry. We'll look to get in short at 2018.50 after we print 2023. So we would need to rally up and break back below this balance beam for that to happen. And in that case, uh, we'll look for 2,850, then 1990 and 1970 to the downside. For the initial stop loss of six points, we'll look to go plus one for every point in favor. Use the link at the bottom of the video, hop in the live room. Last three mornings that we'll be trading in the live room for 2015, make sure you're there so you can watch me day trade some of these markets you'll very likely get a huge dose of trading psychology as well as some other key technical insights to the markets at large. So that'll do it for now. We'll see you back in the live room.